This is a quick demonstration of the Generator Dash Office Yeoman Generator that's now available on NPM. You can go and have a look at the information around this at npmjs.com slash package slash generator dash office. It's got all the information on how you set this generator up. But simply from a command line, all you need to do is type in npm install dash g, which means you're going to install things globally. You're going to need yo, you're going to need bower, and you're also going to need our generator. When you run that, it will pull down all those components for you. Once that's installed, all I simply need to do then is go and create a folder inside my source. So I'm just going to create a my thirst add-in folder here, and I'm going to jump into that folder. And all you need to do is run yo space office. Now this will ask you a bunch of questions, so I can put my first office add-in, and it will ask me whether I want to create all the scaffolding in this folder I've got, or I could create it in a subfolder. I'm just going to create it where I've just created that folder myself and I can pick between a mail add-in, a task pane add-in or a content add-in. I'm going to go with a mail add-in because I'm going to demonstrate this in Outlook. The nice thing here is you can pick your technology stack. I can either pick for scaffolding to have just HTML, CSS and JavaScript usage. I could say that I want an office add-in that uses the Angular framework so we've got a nice scaffolding sample for that or maybe you've already got a website where you've already kind of hooped up into Office JS, etc and you just want the manifest in there on its own. You can create that. Today I'm going to do the HTML, CSS and JavaScript one. That's going to go away and pull down all the required files and, 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 and create a folder structure that's easily readable by you as a web developer. And it's going to use Bower to go and get certain files such as a Microsoft Office JS locally if you're wanting to do any kind of offline work and debugging. Now as far as that's concerned that's actually running up, up in on my machine now. So if I just go into that folder and I go open with code, what you'll actually see now is that we have this nice folder structure of everything going on. And in my manifest file, the only thing we have to change for now, which we are going to we are going to fix this, um, so that it's configurable, is um, putting in where you're going to run this environment. So I'm just going to save that manifest, and I'll go back to the command prompt because we actually have a goal to. Our that if I go serve static here, it's going to run up me a, um, a node server on this location, which I've just added to that manifest file. So if I go over to my browser here and jump to localhost 8443, what you'll see is when I go into the app compose and the home and the home HTML, this is the the add-in that we're going to run within our environment. So this is now running locally on my machine and if I go over to Outlook and go up to manage add-ins, this step we are going to automate as well as via an Office CLI but for now we have to do this manually which is we're going to go and add from file and we're just going to go into that directory and grab the manifest file, click next and then I'm going to click install and that will install the manifest into my Outlook tenant and it's pointing to this location in that tab. So now if I go over to mail and I go new mail here and I go to my add-ins, you'll see my first office add-in is there. And If I click OK now, that add-in is actually now running inside of Outlook. And if I do set subject, it sets the subject. If I change the subject and do get subject, you'll see down the bottom here that we've got that pulling through. So within a matter of minutes there, you've got a full Outlook add-in running um, using Visual Studio Code, but you didn't need to, that could be any ID of your choice, um, running all from the command prompt using NPM, which is available when you install Node on your computer, whether it's Windows or whether it's um, OS X as well. We'll continue to improve this to support other languages other than Angular and HTML and we'll also be releasing the Office CLI that will help you to deploy that manifest and to kind of get these things running directly and, and, and boot you up into a debug mode as well.